how to get data from Google Sheets and send them to a bot. So this is a Google Sheet where we're going to get the bot to refer. And this is the attribute of the data that we want to send to the chatbot in chat queue. So currently, it is at no. So if I trigger this in chat queue, So if you can see in Messenger, what comes out is this. The attribute I've set is, is currently at a no. So if you see it over here, it is a no. So what I want to do is I want to change this to a, to a yes. So what if this is the new attribute and I want to send it through chat view. So I'll do yes, one, two, three. There's a new attribute. So what I'm going to do is, so in Jet Fuel, I'm going to click Start, and then it's going to be a JSON API over here. So let's do that in Messenger. So let's click Start. And you say over here right now in chat fuel is attribute has changed to attribute yes one two three, which we just changed in Google Sheets. So now if you, you can see you can change any attribute. So how do we do this? Is in Integromat this is a setup. So how I set this up is I'll set up with a webhook, create a new scenario, and add a new webhook. Name it and then copy this webhook here and in your chat fuel dashboard put a JSON API and paste it over here and then send over the messenger user ID for the user and if you want first name and last name and whatever attributes that you want the uh, you want to change and uh, extract later on. So that's how you set it there. And then, so whenever a user triggers this, it will trigger this API. And once that happens, this scenario in, in Integromat will start. And we'll have one more over here to search Google Sheets. So this is the Google Sheet you're going to refer to to get the attribute and pass it into chat view. How I set it up is, of course, connect it, and then the file name is, of course, the name that you uh, named in chat view. The worksheet, sheet number one, and then the order, you or, uh, order it, of course, under messenger user ID. Ascending is not really important. And then I want to filter it, only find the messenger user ID equals the messenger user ID that actually triggered it just now. So you see? Is blinking right now because this is the number uh, user ID and this how do I get that is from here so order by here so this is where uh, this is the ID is being used inside the search for Google Sheets simple is copy that put it here equals to what we found over here and then just press OK save it then have the chat fuel broadcast. The bot ID where you can find that is go to your chat fuel dashboard. And if you see the top here after the word bot, this part is your bot ID. All right? Put it there. And then go to configure. You want the broadcast API. So you click configure. Scroll down, broadcasting API token, copy that, go back to Integromat, paste it in here. The messenger user ID, we already know we want to send it back to the exact person. So we just um, click there and then click that and it will go inside there. The block, select by name. This is where, what block we want to send to the user. And I'm going to send the user 
the test number two. So what's going to look like is. I just copy this. Right. Go back to integral map, paste it inside there. Choose a message tag. And then this is where you send in the attribute. So how to set that up is just click that or you will click add item. Attribute name. So what's the name of the attribute in chat fuel? So this is the name. And then what is the value? So the value is this, the value that you just search inside the Google Sheets. So this is the value. Click OK and we are ready to go. So let's try that again. So now let's change it back to instead of yes, one, two, three, let's change it to no, four, five, six. All right? Okay, see what happens. So I'll trigger first one over here. First block. So I'll trigger this. All right, so now it's load, of course, attribute. We changed earlier, yes, one, two, three. Now we want to change it back to no, four, five, six. So to trigger the API in chat fuel, I click start, and that will hit the webhook. The webhook will trigger inside Integromat. Integromat will search inside Google Sheets, and now we'll change back to attribute no 452s. There you go. That's how you change data from Google Sheets and send it to a chatbot.